Hi everyone, I'm just going to show you a quick uh, workflow for bringing or getting terrain data from NASA's Reverb uh, into QGIS. Uh, in QGIS I'm just going to manipulate the data a little bit to get it into a local coordinate system um, and then I'll just bring it into InfoWorks just to give you a look at it in InfoWorks. So firstly I'm just going to go to the net just type in Reverb NASA so a map comes up so if I just zoom into my local area so with the pointer I'm just going to click and drag and select an area uh, up in the search terms I'm just going to type in terrain going to filter out a little bit more so just down in here there's a heap of different data sets but uh, I'm just going to pick out this one there's there's other topography data sets in there but I'm just going to pick this this one here selects it out and drops it down here so it's just going to search for those that that data in that selection area Alright, so what I'm looking for is this HDT file. Uh, you can see the it's actually got the the northing and eastings on there as well, the Latin longs uh, for the for the area I'm looking at as well. So that can be handy in finding different data sets or or making sure that you've got the right set. I'm just going to come across to the cart and just add that to the cart, which it's done. So I'm going to view my items in the cart. And there it is. It's come up. I select download. I'll just leave that as it is. Click on save. I'll just open this. What I'm going to do is just copy it, control C, and just paste that into a new tab. So it's going to allow me to download that data now. So if I just open that, Alright, so there's that file, so I'm just going to control C that and just drop it on my desktop. Alright, so it's sitting on my desktop, so now I'll just go to QGIS, just open that. Alright, well I won't go into too much detail with QGIS, um, but what I will do is just go to the raster, the raster tab. I'm just going to add a raster, which is that HDT file. So it supports a whole heap of different file formats. So that HDT file will be in here. There it is there. So there it is. I'm just going to open that. And there it is. And there's our individual elevation points, I guess, or bits of elevation data. What I'm going to do, this is in Latin longs, or WGS84. Uh, um, what I want it to be in is my local coordinate system, which is uh, GDA94. Uh, um, and with a map projection as well, so uh, MGA zone 56 I believe I'm in, so I'm just going to go up to raster here I'm going to go to projections and then warp or reproject that data 
So you can see that it's got picked up that input file being the HGT file. I want it to output to I've tried you uh, the dem file, the USGS dem, but it doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to actually support that one, but what it will do is output it to a GeoTIFF. So if I can just find that there, there it is, GeoTIFF. So I'll just output it to that. I'll just overwrite that file. Terrain, let me save that. So my source um, or world file or coordinates is that, if I look at here, that is EPSG uh, 4326, which is at WG, WGS uh, 84. So that's okay. I'll leave that as it is. That's for the input file. And where I want it to output it to is the target SRS. So I want it to go to GDA 94, MGA zone 56, which is my local coordinate zone. All right. So once that's all done, I'm going to also load that you can select whether you want it to load or not load into the canvas. So I'm just going to hit OK on that. And you can see that it's just popped up in the background in behind that original data. So let's close that. You can see that there has been some change in the data there. You can just, you can see, and that will be because of the, the, the well, it's projecting it to a map, but also um, to a different, uh, going from WGS 84 to GDA 94. So yeah, there is some conversion there, which is good because that's, that's what I want it to be in. I want it to come into my local coordinate system. That'll line up with all my survey data. Um, so yeah, all our survey stuff's picked up on that local coordinate system. So, um, so once this data comes in, all our area will be exactly the same. So it'll all come in the same spot and it'll be referenced the same. So, right, yeah, so that's actually created that file. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just go to InfraWorks and open InfraWorks. I'm just going to add that data so we can have a bit of a look at it. All right, it's a raster. It'll be this terrain. TIFF. Just going to configure that. So coordinate system MGA 56. Just going to hit close and refresh on that. All right, so I'm just, I'll just zoom out so we can see. Yep, it's in Australia. And you can see just down or down here it disappears, but just down there you can see those they're no longer Latin longs, it's in uh, GDA 94 MGA coordinates. So we'll just have a bit of a look at this. You can see they're quite large tiles, so which is good because it'll if you've got a job in the middle of it or on the outside, it's gonna give you that coverage of terrain that'll really make it look like it you know it's not falling off the earth like that once you actually get a project that's down in here you know you're going to get a good coverage of terrain all the way around there radio well i hope that was useful talk to you soon